So here's a quick summary for you of what we know right now. This is a CP train. It was heading west in Oshawa when it derailed at about 2.10 this afternoon. As you saw, it happened right in a residential area. Hundreds of homes there. That's near 401 and Park Road. And it seems right now that 27 cars have derailed, though we don't have a final list yet of what's in them. There was a diesel spill. That's what led to a fire that's out now. And it has led to that evacuation of a one kilometer radius from the site. Of course, we're tracking this story for you tonight. We'll get back to it again in just a minute. We do want to say, though, if you've got photos of the scene, send them to us right now. We'll get them up on the air. Email us at tonews at cbc.ca. Now, we also have our Michelle Chung. She's standing by live. She's also near the scene tonight. Michelle, what can you tell us? Well, I spoke to some kids, actually, who go to a school that are, that are, that's right next to the tracks. Uh, one little boy who's 10 years old told me that, uh, you know, that he was outside at recess and he could see, you know, the regular train going by. He said next thing he heard, he said he heard this huge screeching noise and then he heard a huge kaboom. And he said then he saw white smoke and the, the principal and the teachers basically told all the kids, all right, get back inside, get back in the school. He said the principal then called the, the, uh, the police to find out if it was okay for the kids to be in the school. But eventually, he said, they said, what, what he was told, what the little boy was told was that as soon as it turned black, as soon as that smoke turned black, they had to get out. So they were all, so the kids were all evacuated either by bus or uh, by school bus or by regular city bus and they all went home. I asked him, I said, you know, were you scared? Was anybody scared? And he said, no. He said, you know, he said, we had a fire last week and, you know, we figured if they put that out in an hour, well, they can certainly put out a fire, but, you know, that's, that's on a train. And, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, right by the tracks here, uh, I'm seeing all these neighbors and people who are just walking around really calmly. Nobody has evacuated in this area that we're in where you can see how close we are to the uh, to the accident site but everyone's very calm and everybody's taking this very matter-of-factly it's almost as if this is just another day Diana thanks that's our Michelle Chung reporting live from the scene tonight as well